We're running a hybrid DVR system. We have four analog cameras. Uh, the reason we we're mixing between analog and uh, digital IP cameras is they had some existing cabling already run uh, for analog cameras. Uh, they were having issues with the analog cameras being uh, vandalized and knocked and turned so we've put on uh, vandal proof uh, cameras, uh, specifically vandal proof domes except for the uh, gate camera which needed a little bit more zoom and uh, better infrared so we've gone with like a bullet style uh, type of camera for that. Uh, so this is the image of the four cameras. We have one uh, by the playground area and then uh, as you can see in the bottom right the gate camera and then the walkway and uh, a parking area as well as uh, kind of the entrance uh, that goes up uh, throughout the condo complex there. Uh, so that's the uh, analog cameras and I will be putting in uh, and showing you the IP cameras as well and then showing you the complete view with all of the cameras set up uh, so you can see how that works. So we're back at the pump house here. The pump house is, is in that building there where the door is. That's where the DVR and all of the equipment is. The customer wanted to have some cameras at the back of the building. Uh, he had already had these cameras uh, over here that you see on the pole there. Those cameras he already had cabling run for those cameras so we just replaced the cameras with better more vandal resistant cameras. Uh, but he wanted cameras also at the back of the property here, the condo complex. So that would have required quite a bit of trenching of cabling through this area here. So instead what we've done is we're going with wireless IP cameras and we're transmitting everything wirelessly so we have a hybrid DVR that will record both analog and digital IP cameras so there's our transmitter there that transmits to the back of the property and then at that point back there we have a wireless access point that's going to pick up the signal for all of the cameras and that way we can uh, the DVR can record both the digital IP network cameras as well as record the analog cameras. So we were using 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless IP cameras and we were getting a lot of issues with the signal and picture cutting out on the cameras. Uh, so we've done a wireless uh, uh, survey with the access point and we found uh, 35 other access points uh, in the area that uh, our camera access point is picking up. So this is obviously why we're having all of these issues uh, with the signal cutting out and dropping out. There's uh, a lot of interference in the area. Uh, these access points are, are definitely uh, the routers, uh, you know, all the uh, different houses in the condominium complex. Uh, they have uh, their their own routers, wireless routers for uh, access throughout their homes. So it's causing a lot of interference in the area and uh, causing interference problems with the cameras. So we are going to install a 5 gigahertz uh, service with an access point and then uh, client bridges at each of the cameras uh, to try and eliminate and alleviate this problem. So here we have the receive unit that's receiving uh, the IP camera's signal and sending it back to the, the main building where the DVR is. Uh, the lower unit is the access point for the three cameras uh, and then the, all of the power equipment and networking is in the box there. So now we have a camera here and we have a client bridge on the pole there and then around here we zoom around have another camera there with another client bridge there IP camera 
So there's the IP camera with the client bridge that's receiving uh, the signal wirelessly or transmitting the signal uh, that it receives from the IP camera so it can uh, send its information back to the DVR. So that's the one IP camera. So on this light post here we have two cameras and again the client bridge to send and receive the signal. So in uh, all in all we have four cameras at the back of the property here that are uh, transmitting wirelessly to an access point which then is connected to a client bridge that's connecting back to another access point which is on the building where the DVR is so all of the cameras are able to be recorded wirelessly 